An orca is a marine mammal. They're often confused for being a whale because of the name killer whale. But did you know that orcas are actually dolphins? In fact, they are the largest member of the dolphin family. Orcas are incredibly popular as they are the most widely distributed found in every single ocean. They are very familiar with their black and white coloring, but actually, depending on where they live, have very different appearances, behavior, ways of communicating, and diet. Find out some amazing facts below about the incredible orca. Why are orcas called killer whales when they are dolphins? Dolphins and whales are closely related. Orcas were given the name killer whale by ancient sailors' observations of groups of orcas hunting and preying on larger whale species. They called orcas assassina bellinas, or whale killer, a term that was eventually flipped around to the easier killer whale. Their Latin name, Orcanus orca, also reflects this observation of orcas feeding on large whales. Orcanus translates to of the kingdom of the dead, and orca refers to a kind of whale. We know that orcas are top predators, yes, but not the vicious whale killers that the ancient mariners thought them to be. If you could give orcas another name, what would you call them? Adults show some differences in appearance between the sexes. Males can grow to approximately 8 meters and weigh over 5 tons. Females are smaller, growing up to about 7 meters and weighing up to 3 tons. Males have an impressively tall dorsal fin, which can grow up to 1.8 meters or 6 feet, compared to females whose dorsal fins measure up to 80 centimeters. What do orcas eat? Looking at all populations, orcas are generalist eaters, consuming fish, seals, sea lions, dolphins and porpoises, sharks and rays, large whales, cephalopods, octopods and squids, seabirds, and more. However, some orcas specialize on specific prey, and it turns out orcas are picky eaters. Once they've learned what their family eats, they aren't likely to switch diets. Orcas scare white sharks. When orcas and white sharks confront one another, it is the white shark that flees. Research conducted at the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California followed a group of white sharks for several months. These three sharks always fed in the same place, but when two pods of orcas arrived, the sharks fled and did not return for months. How do orcas sleep? Orcas sleep in a very different way to humans. We have a breathing reflex, and when we sleep or become unconscious, we continue to breathe automatically. Orcas cannot sleep in this way. They have to remain conscious even when they are sleeping. This is because their breathing is not automatic. They have to actively decide when to breathe, and so they must be conscious even when sleeping. If like us, orcas went into a deep unconscious sleep, they would stop breathing and suffocate or drown. To get around this, orcas only allow one half of their brains to sleep at a time. The other half stays alert, enabling them to continue breathing whilst looking out for dangers in the environment. They only close one eye when they sleep. The left eye will be closed when the right half of the brain sleeps, and vice versa. This type of sleep is known as unihemispheric sleep, as only one brain hemisphere sleeps at a time. Orcas periodically alternate which side is sleeping so that they can get the rest they need without ever losing consciousness. When sleeping, orcas swim very slowly and steadily close to the surface. How do orcas communicate? In orca populations, knowledge is passed down to younger individuals from their elders, what to eat and where to find it, how to catch it, who to avoid, vocalizations and calls unique to pods and family groups, and the distinct accent of the population. Having multiple prey items to choose from probably led to the niche specializations we see today. Millions of years ago, different groups started eating different things to avoid competing for the same food. Now, these groups are genetically different in addition to their unique appearance and cultures. What threats do orcas face? Orcas worldwide face a number of threats. They get caught in fishing nets and gear accidentally, face problems with toxic waste and pollution in the sea. Increase in boat traffic can result in collisions with orcas and an increase in underwater noise pollution. In some regions, Greenland, Japan, Indonesia and some Caribbean islands, they are still victims of whaling efforts. 
orcas cannot smell. Orcas do not have an olfactory system, which means they likely do not have a sense of smell. While this may seem like a handicap, it actually makes a lot of sense. Unlike sharks, which use smell to track down prey, the orca uses its keen hearing to practice echolocation, producing sounds and listening for echoes to tell if there are objects or animals in their surroundings. The absence of this smelling system is present in all dolphins and most toothed whales, so orcas are not alone in this deficiency. They have big brains. Orcas have the second largest brain of any marine mammal, second only to sperm whales. They can weigh as much as 15 pounds. They are the second most widespread animal in the world. After humans, orcas are the most widespread mammal in the animal kingdom. The species ranges from the Arctic to the Antarctic and can be found everywhere from freezing waters to the north and south of the warm waters along the equator, including the Hawaiian Islands, Galapagos Islands and the Gulf of California. The average lifespan of an orca is not too dissimilar to a human at 50 to 80 years for females and slightly less for males at 29 to 60 years.